welcome dear students to my channel let's learn unit 2 2.1 animals so let's begin warming up 1 get into pairs and attend the following the more i learn about people the more i like my dog mark twain Discuss with your partner what Mark Twain means from the above quote. Write in your own words. By the above quote, Mark Twain means that his dog has certain qualities which he finds lacking in human beings. Each day as he comes across different people, and learns more about human nature, the feeling grows within him that humans possess many disagreeable qualities that do not help in improving relationships. As a result, he begins to love his dog more than human beings. 2. Put the following attributes or abilities given below in the proper circles. 1. Circle Human Second circle, animal common to both. Answer, human, cooks, learns computing, stands up immediately, worships God, good manners. Animals can live for more than 150 years, sleeps in standing position has 360 degree vision, belongs to various species after birth, common to both, self-control, communicates, love and care, shows gratitude, swims, brings up children. 3. At times, especially when you are frustrated, you wish you were an animal a bird, a fish, a butterfly, and not a human being. Say, which of the above you would choose to transform to and give three or four reasons for your choice. Answer. When I am frustrated, I wish I could be a bird, so I could fly away from the cause of frustration. At such times, I would like to be far from the noise and crowd on earth and sail in silence across the sky. I would prefer to concentrate on my own thoughts and regain my peace and the best place for that would be the vast open sky. Flapping my wings would keep me active and busy and help me Forget about my worries. Four, we come across many animals in our vicinity. We have also read about different animals in books. Make a list of all animals that fall under various categories. One is given for you. Amphibians frog, toad, mammals, cow, bat, wild animals, lion, tiger, bear, aquatic animals, octopus, crocodile, pet animals, cat, dog. Now we begin the poem. Animals. What Whitman? A major figure in early American poetry. In an age when all poetry was rhyme and metrical, Whitman made a break with tradition and wrote a revolutionary new kind of poetry in free verse. He was a non-conformist in all respects, including his social life. 
The poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans, what he finds complicated and false. Some information about Walt Whitman. He is a major U.S. poet who wrote about individual freedom, equal rights and sexual love as well as about his love for America. Though many readers thought his poems were immoral, he had a strong influence on later American poets, especially the Beat Generation. He used the new form of free verse in which lines do not rhyme. His best known works are Leaves of Grass, Drum Taps, and a collection of writings, Democratic Vistas, etc. I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. Here, turn means transform. The poet wishes that he could transform himself and would like to live with animals because they are so placid and self-contained. Placid, not easily upset. They are calm and self-contained. I stand and look at them long and long. I stand and look at them long and long. Figure of speech in this line, repetition, long and long words are repeated. I stand and look at them, means he admires them. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. Not one is dissatisfied. Not one is demented with the mania of owning things. Not one kneels to another nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. My dear friends, make me sick means disgust me. Demented means mad. Mania being crazy, craze. Explanation The poet expresses the possibility that he could turn and change himself, his lifestyle and live with animals. The reason is that animals are so calm, so placid and self-composed. The poet can stand and gaze at them for long hours. He has observed that they do not suffer anxiety or distress. They do not worry, trying to improve their condition. Neither do they complain mournfully about their living conditions. They do not spend sleepless hours expressing sorrow for their misdeeds. They do not disgust the poet by talking to him about their duty to God. Not a single animal seems discontented. They do not behave irrationally, madly pursuing the ownership of worldly goods. No animal kneels to another as a sign of worship or respect, nor to any ancestor that lived centuries ago. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. Respectable here, too happy, overjoyed. So, no one is respectable, too happy or overjoyed or unhappy over the whole earth. So, they show their relations to me 
and I accept them. They bring me tokens of myself. They evince them plainly in their possessions. Tokens here, virtues or qualities like innocence, simplicity, contentment. The poet wonders, I wonder where they get those tokens. Did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently or carelessly drop them? Question mark. Work with me. Explanation. The animals are neither overjoyed nor unhappy about the state of affairs of the whole earth. Animals express their relationship with the poet in a simple way and he in turn accepts them for what they are. Animals offer the poet visible signs of qualities such as innocence, simplicity and reveal to him by their behavior how these qualities quite clearly belong to them. The poet wonders where the animals obtain those tokens, those virtues, qualities of simplicity, contentment. The poet wonders if mankind, if human being represented by the poet himself, once possessed these qualities ages ago and then over the years gave them up unmindfully or carelessly. Questions What craze do animals never display? Answer Animals never display the craze of owning things. What could have happened to the tokens of the poet's self? The tokens of the poet's self might have been lost for the time man resorted to manipulate nature and considered himself apart from it. Thank you for watching.